far-right parties are set to make historic gains in June's European elections. Far-right parties are growing in many European Union countries. They're set to make historic gains in June's European elections. But Europe's rising right-wing parties need to find unity if they are to wield greater influence on the EU stage, experts tell Euronews. Far-right parties are currently split into two groups, Identity and Democracy with Rassemblement National, Liga and Alternative for Deutschland. And European Conservatives and Reformists with Fratelli d'Italia, Vox and Law and Justice. The first one is for sure the aversion against uh, immigration. That is a very uh, common uh, element among these parties. Uh, the other one is Euroscepticism, in the sense that all of them are against uh, a further integration of the uh, European Union. Uh, the third one is the idea to represent the common people uh, against uh, a liberal progressive establishment and against uh, mainstream parties. Their deepest differences lie within foreign policies, their positions on the Ukraine war and the rule of law. Within ID, you'll find a lot of uh, more uh, pro-Russian uh, parties, while uh, in ECR, uh, most parties are rather um, anti-Russian, uh, rather stand with uh, Ukraine in the current, uh, in the current conflict. Um, the Finnish uh, radical right party even changed groups because of this, uh, because of this issue, uh, so they switched from ID to ECR. Both party groups have in recent years shifted in their degree of skepticism to all EU institutions in Brussels. Generally, the parties in ID are more uh, radical uh, and more extreme sometimes also. They're really more far right. Uh, they are gen generally also more anti-European, while in ECR you will also have some parties that are um, yeah, Euro-skeptic, but, but, but still quite constructive. Uh, generally, these parties also work within the European institutions and do not uh, only uh, oppose them. For this reason, parties like Fratelli d'Italia are more likely to negotiate with the European People Party after the European elections. It is likely that the growth of the radical right will have an influence on the EU policies like the Green Deal or migration. Polish farmers have threatened to go on hunger strike over the EU Green Deal and Ukrainian imports, which they say harm their livelihoods. The group from the National Farmers Union, Orca, were invited to the Polish Parliament by deputies from the opposition PIS and Confederation parties. The protesters said they would not leave until they met Prime Minister Tusk. It coincides with a farmers' protest in Warsaw. Having this experience of the right-wing government in Poland after eight years, I feel that the most important thing would be to press politicians onto the transparency of the citizen rights on the right to privacy, which is breaked by the big tech companies, by the government. We should have a right to know what is happening in the shadow with our freedoms, with our rights. If I'm elected as a member of the European Parliament, then I will work very hard for the European Parliament to be a democratic watchdog, because we see that there are many big challenges facing us. The European Union is responding, is growing stronger, is growing more powerful, and that's why we also need to become a democratic giant. Democracy is really on top of the agenda, uh, and I will continue to work for it.